Hi, I'm David Bax. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week, we're going to give you a sneak peek right here with Shoe Show Distribution and Corporate Headquarters. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, that scene in Indiana Jones when they're putting away everything? There's just like miles and miles of <laughs> shoes here. So we've got a lot of information to learn about that. Uh, grab that pen and paper, and you can jot the information down. If you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, as David said, we are at Shoe Show surrounded by literally thousands and thousands of pairs of shoes, which uh, for any woman is really exciting. But uh, Shoe Show is the nation's largest independent shoe retailer, and it's right here in Cabarrus County. It actually uh, was founded in 1965, Robert and Carolyn Tucker, and they are celebrating 50 years of business this year in Cabarrus County. Now, she says distribution center is located off of Trinity Church Road, and it totals more than 921,000 square feet. The distribution center can receive 66 cartons of shoes per minute and ships out 90 cartons of shoes per minute. And the conveyor belt alone can receive 12 pairs of shoes per second. And it ships out 24 pairs of shoes per second. That is a lot of shoes. That's a lot um, of shoes. The company also works with 974 different shoe vendors offering literally thousands of styles of shoes. Now, uh, Shoe Show's business model by uh, the Tuckers is based on providing quality products plus service and value. There are more than 1,100 stores in 36 states operating under the names of Shoe Show, Shoe Department, and Burlington Shoes. And six of those stores are located right here in Cabarrus County. And all of the merchandise sold through the stores across the nation are distributed right out of this very distribution center. And I've been told, even with all the miles of shoes that you can see, um, which is about 2 million pairs in this distribution center, <laughs> that's only two weeks worth of merchandise for all the stores. So it, it is an amazing operation. Now, CJ's corporate office um, employs 629 employees, 20 of those, two, I'm sorry, 200 of those in the office, and 429 employees uh, here in the distribution center. Its employees get involved in many community activities that provide assistance to the local area. Now, Shisha will host its first ever distribution center sale, or its warehouse sale, uh, which is going to be open to the public in March. And for details on that or um, all things related to shoes, uh, you can uh, learn more about Shoe Show by logging on to www.shoeshow.com. I mean, I mean, they got over 4,000 styles of shoes right. here. You can't find what you need. <laughs> I, mean, I don't amazing. know. It is. It, it is. is. It's an amazing operation. Well, the operation, I mean, is special. It was computerized. Their inventory, they said, is 99.9% accurate. Right. I mean, that is just right. unbelievable. So, so they don't have to do inventory. How great is that? I know. Yeah. Major cost savings yeah. there, right? Now, uh, you're ready for the senior games? Okay, we're all coming up. Get ready to sign. Well, these packets are now available at the annual Cabarrus County Senior Games. Now, this is a year-round health and fitness program that encourages adults 55 and older uh, to stay involved in the sports and also in the arts. And the packets can be picked up at the Cabarrus County Senior Centers in Mount Pleasant, Concord, all the Lunch Plus locations, the City of Concord and Harrisburg Park and Rec, and also the Cabarrus County Park and Rec, pick up your packets there. Now these sports and events range from everything. I mean, it's backyard, you know, kind of badminton, horseshoes, to track and field events, Olympian type of things, and uh, cycling, which is a favorite of mine, and all kinds of different things, plus the arts. The arts are great. Photography, uh, literary arts, all sorts of things, singing, dancing, anything you name, you can do it. So uh, to find out for more information, just a complete listing of all the events and to receive your entry packet, just all you got to do is contact the Cabarrus County Senior Center, 704-920-3484, or just log on to Cabarrus County slash U.S. slash aging. Great. You're all set to go. Well, great opportunity for anyone who um, would like to learn a foreign language in a new class that's going to be offered. Actually, um, this is a series that, a um, real popular series of classes to learn conversational Spanish. Now, this is great for those who have never taken a foreign language um, and would like to be able to speak Spanish, or maybe you took a foreign language in high school and 
like me, you just haven't used it and you've forgotten a lot of things and, and you like to refresh. Great opportunity. Foster Extension is offering the class Learning Conversational Spanish um, for adults who um, don't want to take the college setting class but right. want to learn foreign language. Classes will be held Thursday evenings from April 1st through June 3rd. The classes are taught by Eduardo Gonzalez Diaz at the Corporate Extension Center there on Cabarrus Avenue in Concord. Cost is $50 per person for the entire series of classes. To register online, just go to cabarrus.us slash reserve partner and type the word Spanish in the class search box. And for more information, just call Cooperative Extension at 704-920-3310. Now, filing for candidates uh, seeking election in the November election that's upcoming. Now, that ends on noon, Friday, February the 26th. Now, you can receive your information on the local candidates who have filed already. Just go to cabarrascounty.us slash elections, and the website is updated in real time. So the site will you know, tell you who's running, uh, what seats are up for re-election, and all the candidates uh, based on the website here in Cabarrus County. Now, to receive the state and federal candidates, that filing list, you need to go to www.sboe.state.nc.us. Now, there's plenty of time also, if you're interested in, in changing your party affiliation or wonder independent, whatever, there's plenty of time to do that. And uh, go to, uh, to register your vote for your, your party's primary. The deadline to register to vote is April the 9th, and that's at 5 p.m., and you may download a registration form at cabarruscounty.us slash elections, or just pick up the form at the Board of Elections office at 53 Corbin Avenue in Concord, or each of the municipal clerk offices at all public libraries and at Tucker Supply in Midland. For questions, just call the Board of Elections at 704-920. 2860. Well, there is a Friday night dance coming up at the Senior Center, so you might want to grab your favorite dancing partner and head over to the Bears County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant for the Friday night dance on Friday, February the 19th from 8 until 11 p.m. And it will feature music by the Classics. Admission is $5 at the door. For details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging or call 704-920-3484. Now, you got the winter blues? Hey, I do. I'm I, ready for spring. <laughs> I'm well, so ready for spring. Okay, well, then you just need to come on out to Franklin's Park on Saturday, on February the 20th, to learn about spring in the air. Now, at this workshop, we'll discuss the uh, what's coming up in the spring season. That means for plants and animals, insects and flowers. You can also plant seeds. Take home with you. Uh, see how that life cycle comes alive right before your very eyes. Plant it, watch it grow. Now the workshop is open to all ages. Cost is five dollars, and that covers the supplies. Spring in the Air workshop will be held from 10 a.m. until noon on Saturday, February 20th, at the barn at Franklin's Park. To register in advance, just log on to cabarruscounty.us/reservepartner. Type in the word "spring" in the class search box. For more details about park events, just log on to cabarruscounty.us. Slash parks or just call 704-920-3350. Get over those winter balloons. Great. Uh, another way to do that, there's a guided nature walk um, this weekend at North Bears Park. So you can come out to the park Saturday, March 20th. Join the park ranger as uh, they take you through the trails and uh, show, maybe see some of the signs of early spring coming. Oh, maybe, but, um, learn about the nature, the animals and the plants um, this time of year. Uh, just meet at the uh, restroom building at North Cabarrus Park at 10 a.m. on Saturday, March 20th. The guided nature walk is free and open to all ages. For details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Now, Cabarrus County, well, you know, springtime means only one thing, Amy. Time to play softball. <laughs> now, Cabarrus County Parks and Department is taking registration for the spring and summer adult softball leagues. Games in this league are played at the ball fields of Frank List Park. Now, divisions are available in men's open, women's open, co-ed open, men's church, and co-ed church. Now, register by March the 5th to take advantage of the early registration fee. Games will begin the week of March 29th. For details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks slash adult athletics 
www.html.html.html. And I'll see you out there. Because we always get a team and go out there and oh, yeah. everybody beats on us. <laughs> that way we have a good a time. It's yeah, a lot okay. of fun. Well, here is a great activity for those uh, maybe you have a child who's wanting to learn how to fish, but mm, if you're like me, you're like, mm, I'm not sure how to teach you how to fish. Well, here is a great, great class for you. Um, every Saturday in March, you can come out to the lake at Camp Spencer Park and learn the basics of fishing. Each week's lesson will build on the week before, so uh, you definitely want to schedule every Saturday for the month of March to come out. You can bring the kids and learn together. Um, each class will include 45 minutes of instruction and then an hour of fishing with help from the instructor. The Family Fishing Series will be held Saturdays in March, beginning on March 6th. The class is available to all ages. It costs $10 per person for the four-week session. The class will meet at the Fair Lake at Kibbs Fisher Park. To register in advance, just log on to Damariskind.us slash reserve partner and type the word fishing in the class search box. For more details just about park events, you can log on to Damariskind.us slash parks or call 704-920-3350. Now, author and hypnotherapist Steve Jones is going to discuss his book, You Can Attract It. Okay, now that's on Thursday, February 25th at the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Now, this book offers a unique approach to incorporating the laws of attraction, that's kind of interesting, huh? into your life, and you can develop a positive attitude which assists you in attracting wonderful things to you. I sound like. I'm up for that. That's kind of an interesting topic. More wonderful, the better. Okay. Now, the uh, free book talk will be held at 6 p.m. Thursday, February 25th at Harrisburg Branch, the Bears County Public Library. For more information, just call the library at 704-920-2080 or just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library. And attract good things to you. There you go. We all need some of that right yeah, now, right? right. Well, Pot Trade Charlotte's Children's Confinement Sale is returning to the Bear Street and Event Center this weekend for three days of bargain shopping for children's clothing, toys, accessories, furniture, and maternity clothing. The Children's Confinement Show will be held Friday, February 19th from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m., Saturday, February 20th from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m., and Sunday, February 21st from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Admission is free. For details, just log on to CabarrusArena.com. Now, kind of what's come up uh, to our attention here is the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Department has reported a, uh, a number of uh, car break-ins recently. Now, a lot of these car break-ins are occurring in, like, driveways and residential neighborhoods. Now, residents are reminded to keep your doors locked at all times, and even if you're parked at home, it's a good idea to do that. Plus, if you've got anything like GPS, uh, iPods, anything else, you know, when you get out of your car, make sure they're hidden because you kind of leave them out in the open, it's just kind of an open invitation. So uh, just be careful out there and take care of those things. Right. Keep your doors locked. That's right. Well, we've had a lot of information on the show. A lot of great things going on. Oh, uh, yeah. Spring is coming around the corner because there are a lot of fun activities coming up in Cabarrus County. If you missed anything or want more details, you can always get more information on our website, cabarruscounty.us. Click on the A to Z index, or you can type in the information in the search box there. Um, but if you still can't find what you're looking for, you can shoot us an email at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. And of course, if you want all the information right at your fingertips, all the email addresses, websites, phone numbers, um, just sign up for our email newsletter, Cabarrus This Week Online. You can do that by logging on to cabarruscounty.us. At the top left of any page is the Join Our Mailing List link. Just type in your email address and you'll get all the information each week right in your email box. And if you have friends and family that don't have time or cable, you can, uh, or if you just like to stream us on demand, you can go to cabarruscounty.us and uh, you'll see the video screen right below that, the channel 22 icon or a YouTube icon. Click on either one of those and you can see all the different programs that do here on channel 22. Watch them on demand whenever you feel like it, which is a cool thing. I really wanted to thank the folks here at uh, Shoe Show. I mean, this really is amazing. We got a great tour and uh, hope you learned a little bit and kind of, you know, you drive by places right. all around and you have no idea of what's going on there. This and, is and if you've never driven by, um, just drive down Trinity Church Road right behind Rowan and Cabarrus Community College and just check out the size of the building. It is just amazing how large this building is. And it is a wonderful operation, a wonderful family that runs a shoe show here. So we do thank them for letting us come out and share it with you. All righty. 
And uh, until next week, you just have a great one and attract all those good things too. <laughs>